Dow is 127 years old. It operates 91 sites in 30 countries. It has about 36,000 employees. Sales in 2024 of $43 billion, $5.5 billion in EBITDA. That is 12.8%. They have three business segments, and I'll read them here. Number one is Packaging and specialty plastics, $21.8 billion in sales last year, and that's down about 6% since 23. Number two, industrial intermediates and infrastructure, $11.9 billion in sales. That's down about 5% since last year. And number three, performance materials and coatings, $8.6 billion in sales, up about one percent. So uh, experience some, some, some headwinds in terms of uh, demand for sure and some competition headwinds. So where are the surfactants? Because that's all we care about, right? Well, they're in the industrial intermediates and infrastructure segment. And that segment is actually split into two pieces. First one is polyurethane and construction. The second one which is where the surfactants are, uh, is industrial solutions. So we're gonna dig into industrial solutions a little bit more. I'm going to a May 2024 uh, Investor Day presentation, and that presentation has sales in uh, industrial solutions at about $4 billion, and that comprises alkoxalates, amines, solvents, glycol ethers, and glycol and purified EO. A lot of it's built on purified EO. So look, I'm gonna triangulate in here because I couldn't find any reference to exactly what the surfactant volume, the surfactant sales are. So I'm gonna triangulate in and say, you know, probably roughly half of that uh, 4 billion in industrial solutions is surfactant related. And when I look at some of the capacity numbers and I look at the product mix, you know, that kind of makes sense. So I'm gonna say, Dow surfactant sales, I'm gonna give myself a little wiggle room, one and a half to two billion dollars in that range, in that ballpark. Dow people, if you wanna tell me, get in touch, the tip line is open. But uh, that puts them, you know, in the, in the Premier League for sure, in the, in the league ranking tables there of uh, global surfactant producers. And again, it's a, it's a big strategy based on purified EO, investment in purified EO, and then downstream derivatives. So what about the future? We've talked already about the investment in EO and EO derivatives. Right, and you can see uh, from the investor presentation, 550,000 tons per annum of alkoxylation capacity, 2024, they're forecasting by mid-decade, around now, around next year, uh, taking that up to 750,000, which is an 80, 70 to 80% increase over the uh, beginning of the, the decade alkoxylation capacity. This is a big, big area for investment for, uh, for Dow. Overall, however, as a company, they're definitely in a cost-cutting mode. In January, they uh, announced some cost-cutting measures aiming to uh, take out around a billion dollars annually of operating cost. A chunk of that is gonna be 500 to 700 million is gonna be in direct costs, uh, purchase services, third-party contractor uh, stuff, etc. cetera. And um, another large chunk is gonna be uh, 1,500 job cuts. That's about 4.2% of the workforce. So it's not insignificant. Uh, in addition to that, they're looking at capital expenditures, and in addition to that, they are um, they are reviewing the European a number of European assets, primarily in the polyurethane business area. So uh, a, a real focus there on efficiency and uh, cost cutting corporate wide. So what about the stock? Well, look, since I've started doing these, I've gotten used to the idea that chemical companies operating in cycles don't get a lot of respect from the market. And Dow seems to be no exception. Since the new Dow started trading January of 2019, the stock is down 
since the flotation price and excluding a couple of months, March and April 2020, in the depths of COVID, the stock's at an all-time low. So um, there is that. It does not put them in a, a significantly different category to a lot of the other large chemical companies. Having said that, however, look, I love what they're doing, investing uh, capital and bandwidth in surfactants. I love, I love what they've done actually adding value to EO. They've got a pretty impressive specialty portfolio of specialty alkoxylates, EO and PO, and I like what they're doing in applications technology in a number of those areas that, are, that they're getting into in the industrial segments, as well as uh, in, in household industrial institutional. So, um, you know, a, a lot of kudos for that, but of course, surfactants, let's say it's a couple of billion, even let's take that whole industrial solutions area of four billion, it's not even 10% of Dow overall sales. So it does kind of get buried in there and probably not uh, reflected to a large extent in the overall valuation of the stock. At least that's my read. I hope you found that useful. And thanks again, as always, for listening. It's been a pleasure.